The ropes are being pulled, pulled down for the sumo match. And I will say this, Vincent Savage mutually very, very excited for the sumo match here. Fuck, so I was too. At least the first 10 minutes. <laughs> so before the match, they announced that Earthquake will face Owen Hart in a King of the Ring qualifier next week, which kind of gives away the finish here. But anyway, so Yokozuna comes out. And uh, it's Yokozuna and Vince is bellowing, look at the girth on this man. And Savage says, quote, I know another word for girth, Vince. I have no idea what he meant by that, but it creeped me out. So Earthquake comes out. He's not wearing his uh, usual. I think he was going to say like fat. I see. Yeah. I see. I'm pretty sure. He's not in his usual Earthquake gear. He's uh, wearing a robe and he has a mawashi over his teal tights. He's got those wooden sandal gimmicks. So I don't know how much sumo you guys watch. I watch a little of it. I'm not going to ask. This was the first time. Yeah. There's a, I, I actually do enjoy sumo, but the, the, the ceremony to action ratio is very, very high. Well, most sumo matches are a minute or less. About and 10 usually seconds a lot or less. less than a minute. Yes. And it's very rare to see a long sumo match. But goddamn, when you got two sumo greats in the ring like mm-hmm. we had here, it can go a while. So they, they stall forever. They're doing the leg up pose, they're throwing salt. <sighs> And they tease starting, and they walk back to the corner. Okay, now does that happen where they tease like three times? Yep. Really? That's all part of the game. Thing. Fuck. These yes. fans were like pissed off. I, I was actually stunned how patient they were. I thought they'd be a lot harsher. Well, the first time they did it, they were like, okay. Yeah. Then they do the second time, and they're like, okay. And then they go to the third time, and this fan's like, fuck this. <laughs> they start booing. Yeah. So uh, Vince identifies Earthquake as Koto Tenzan. Which was his sumo name, as he explained last week. He also explained it means uh, it was like the combination of a musical instrument, a mountain, and heaven. The words for those those three words combined together. Vince remembered Koto Tenzan, but when Savage asked, "What does that mean?" He could not remember. He said, "Quote something to do with the tremors and whatever." That was Vince's reply. So finally, the match actually starts. And man, I assure you, this was some worked sumo. It was, but you know what? It was kind of exciting. They worked it well, I thought. Yeah. I thought they did a good mm. job with this. But you know what I what I what I saw before he even started? Like Yokozuna comes out and he is a gimmick sumo guy. Yeah. And then out comes John Tenta and he is a not a gimmick sumo guy. He was a he was a legit sumo. And man, that guy got in the ring and I thought, he would fuck you up, dude. <laughs> he would fuck you up. He had that look on his face. And he had that fucking outfit on, and you could just tell, like, by the way that he moved, and and like you could see the guy that had done this and the guy that hadn't. It was it was patently obvious, and I didn't know who won, but I was watching this and I thought, you know, dude, I don't care. Tenta's got to go over. This is his thing. Like it would be ridiculous to me for Yokozuna to be even in fake pro wrestling. It's like John Tenta had to win this match. He did. So they worked this with, uh, I mean, they worked match, obviously, but they, 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 used, they used actual sumo r- rules, which is you lose if you if you uh, go out of the ring or if anything other than your feet touches the mat, which took away almost everything they could possibly do. There was a lot of hugging, a lot of pushing and shoving, some slaps here and there, and they'd take a step or two back towards the edge, and then go back to the middle of the ring. Most bashos don't have as much mat time as this one match did here, but uh, eventually... Probably most events. A bash was a series of events in a time. I see. Yeah. Uh, Koto Tenzan ducks a swing, hits a big ass palm strike, and just to make sure everyone knows he has lost, Yokozuna takes the biggest back bump he ever saw, he, and then also rolls out of the fuck, ring. Fuck! He took this bump. You know, we always talk about the uh, the apron is the hardest part of the ring. There were no ropes, so you couldn't see the apron. But he landed on the fucking apron, and even back then, like the WWE rings did not have a lot of give. The WWE rings were very, very solid until, coincidentally, Vince started working. And then they made brand new rings that were bouncier. But uh, this was a very, very hard ring as it is. And, man, this guy took a fucking bump right there on the apron, the edge of the ring. And that ring did not move at all. And he took that bump and banged his head and rolled outside. And I thought, you may as well, honestly, you may as well have just fallen off the apron and took a flat back bump on the, the blue mats on the outside. Probably would have felt better. But 
God damn, that guy took a bump for that shove. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, yeah, uh, the crowd, you know, you, you said they were hostile after all the stalling and the start, and there's not a lot of action in this match, but, man, when Earthquake won, they went crazy. They went very happy Earthquake won, and Yoko looked heartbroken on the outside, honestly. You couldn't believe he lost a sumo match. This well, is he's better. Had a bad run of late. This is better than it had any right to be. Yeah, I thought so. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, Bischoff. Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh oh. Hey! Uh, what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dom! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man! Hey, no! Hey, I love you guys! I love you! When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.